It seems the backlash against Anheuser-Busch-owned Bud Light for its partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney isn't as detrimental to the company's sales as some might believe. Anheuser-Busch InBev CEO Michelle Daukaris addressed the controversy's impact on an earnings call. Saying that although he didn't want to minimize it, the dip in Bud Light's U.S. sales during the first few weeks of April accounted for just 1% of the company's total global volumes for that period, the street reported. Related, Bud Light dons Star of Death at Costco after Mulvaney backlash. Even though Bud Light lost its title as America's top-selling beer to Modelo in May and Costco appears to have stamped its cases with the Star of Death ahead of a likely pull from shelves. Daukara stressed that any consequences from the social media promotion will not have a lasting effect on the company. With this perspective, and in the context of our global business, we believe we have the experience, the resources, and the partners to manage this, Daukara said on the call. And our full-year EBITDA growth outlook is unchanged. Bud Light has resumed its traditional advertising and even kicked off its biggest summer campaign ever, per the company, complete with an easy-to-summer commercial set to good times by Chic and other giveaways and promotions. We continue to be committed to the programs and partnerships that we have forged over decades with our consumers and with organizations that represent a wide range of communities where we operate, Daukara said, per the street. We work every day to delight our consumers and bring people together. When we do this well, our brands perform.